everyone, my name is Stephanie Domingo del Rosario from B to Lead 2A. So for today, I will discuss my insight or learn in curriculum from Unit 1. So I learned in what we discussed in Unit 1 was about the curriculum. So what is the curriculum? So the curriculum is broadly defined as the totally of student experiences that occurs in the educational process. So the term often refers specifically to a plan sequence of instruction or to a view of the student's experiences in terms of the educator's or school's instructional goals. So, why is the curriculum is important? So, because it is provides teachers, students, administrators, and also the community stakeholders with a measurable plan and instructor or instructor for delivering a quality of education. The curriculum identifies the learning outcomes, standard and core competencies that students must demonstrate before advi advancing to the next level. So, in the curriculum definition, there are two types of they, they are the traditional points of view of curriculum and progressive points of view curriculum. So, what is the traditional points of view and progressive points of view of curriculum? So, the traditional point of view of curriculum, it is the style of learning used in most schools it is primary techniques are oral instruction uh, instruction reading and reciting facts it is a passive way of learning that involves listening reading taking notes and also the studying either individually or in a groups at at the progressive points of view of curriculum it is about the believing that people learn best from what they um, consider most relevant to their lives progressivists center their curricula on the needs, experiences, interests, and also the abilities of students. So, in the curricula, there are 10 types. So, there are the recommended curriculum, the written curriculum, taught curriculum, supported curriculum, assess curriculum, learn curriculum, hidden curriculum, null curriculum, phantom curriculum, and the last is the concomitant curriculum. So, as a teacher in the future, the curriculum will help me a lot because it serves as a teaching guide and it is also measures the skills and talents of the students and more than that um, that it will also serve as a strategy for teachers to identify of the students weaknesses and also the strengths and as a future um, teachers will know more quickly what kind of teaching styles should be used in teaching. 
So, uh, the curriculum is also important to the future teacher. Why? Because in order to know how they will adjust for their student to learn, it is also important for, for the future educators to know it because they can use it, it to determine him or his ability of the students. So, hence it is more understandable of a um, future educator what else they should improve and change in themselves. And also it is it will help us a lot because as a future educators um, we must have enough knowledge so that um, we can provide the needs of our future students and as a future educator um, it is important this because it likes today teachers it is the um, guide they use in their teaching so that they can shape the um, every ability of their students and most of all it is very important the to all future educators to understand the meaning of curriculum why because it is the most efficient teaching tool um, that we can say is effective and if we know how to use um, it as future educator the more we can teach it better so that's all thank you keep safe and god bless